In today's video, I'm gonna do a follow-up on the Mega 2 on the B2 multifunctional battery. This is an expansion battery to the Mega 2 and the Mega 3 portable power stations, but this is also a standalone smart battery that you can use uh, to power all your DC power devices as long as the power range is within what the outputs are on the front here. What gets me excited about this expansion battery is that it's not only an expansion battery, it is a battery that you can use to power all of your DC devices if you would like to, maybe on a campsite, or if you need to separate the two for DC and one maybe for AC when you don't wanna use this for DC as well. I don't know why you'd wanna do that, but there's so many different possibilities with these power stations and these expansion batteries that that just allows you a lot more flexibility at your campsite, uh, at your RV uh, site, uh, even in your house, maybe on a job site. So many different things that you could do with this. I do love that we have the DC outputs on the front. We have the expansion ports on the side that connects into the Mega 2 and the Mega 3. And on the side, both of these, not just the power station itself, has input for solar. Well, so does the expansion battery. We could put 2100 watts of solar into the battery itself to charge it by a standalone unit. That's pretty cool, very impressive. Uh, I like when you have different uh, functions and different options to charge these things up. You're not set to having to have it connected to your power station to power your battery or to charge your battery. Uh, I do like that you could have just this battery and just a power station or you can connect them together. And it does come with the power cable to connect the battery to the power station. So you just click it in and connect your battery. And if you have an additional battery, you connect to this, put your battery up top, or you can have your power station at the top and you have your batteries at the bottom. And additionally with the battery, you'll get the user manual. You'll get an MC4 connector to Anderson. This is for your solar input that you connect to the side of the battery. Do not connect it to the front of the battery because you'll burn your battery up. Don't connect it to the front of your Mega 2. You'll burn your Mega 2 up. It's going to the input on the side of the battery is what this cable's for. Now this is a 7909 to Anderson. I'm not sure where you would ever use this at because I've never used this type of cable, but I'm sure there's a lot of you guys out there that will find this useful. And on the front, we have the 12 volt cigarette lighter, which is 12 volt, 10 amps, and two 5.5 millimeter barrel ports that are 12 volts and 10 amps as well. And to turn these ports on and off, there's a little DC button right here. You can see it turning it off here. And it says car and DC right here, because when you turn these ones on over here, you'll see USB-A, USB-C, these are on. Now we'll turn this off and you'll see that that goes off over here. Now let's discuss the four USB-A ports. These are a total of 18 watts each maximum and two USB-C ports with a maximum of 100 watts each. We have an output for an Anderson plug to power your larger DC appliances. This is 12 volt, 30 amp on the DC output for the Anderson plug. Remember, this is not an input, this is output only. You can see right at the top there, they even leave you a little note. Please do not connect solar panels to the Anderson output. When I was looking at the dimensions on the website, it's saying it was basically 18 by 12 by 10 and a half. But when I actually measure it, we do get the 18, we do get the 10 and a half here, but it's only 11 inches wide. It is not uh, 12 inches wide like they're stating. So it's a little bit off on those numbers. So this battery is actually a little bit smaller than what's stated on the website. Tape measure up against that. And same thing here, we're roughly 11 inches, not 12 inches. The overall weight of the battery itself is 41.8 pounds. So this is actually lighter than some of the standalone batteries that don't have any of this function that I've reviewed in the past. So that's very impressive to get this type of weight out of that type of capacity 
with all these different functions that you're getting with this expandable battery. And something to keep in mind is the operating and storage temperature for the battery. That is between 32 Fahrenheit and 104 Fahrenheit and zero to 40 Celsius. And I've tested this battery pretty extensively, uh, charging it with solar up to 2000 watts, what I got it coming in at because my configuration would only allow me to go up that high because if I go anything over that, I'd be over the voltage or the amps that's allowed to charge this. So with my configuration on my solar panels, I was able to get up to 2000 watts. It operated completely flawlessly. There's nothing on this battery that hasn't operated like it's supposed to. So if you have a Mega 2 or a Mega 3, I would highly recommend picking up uh, one or multiple of these B2 batteries to expand your units. Now, the only thing that I could say negative about the battery itself is the door flap that's on where you plug in the cable to your Mega 2 or to another battery. Um, because this should be two doors. And I did mention this in my review of the Mega 2, because if you plug this in, then this door flap cannot close off this other port. And I just feel like that should be protected if it's not in use, because you have moisture, you have insects that can crawl in there, you got uh, rodents that could get on that. Uh, this needs to be divided into two sections so it can protect that port. That's the only negative thing that I have to say about the B2 battery. So if you're looking for a power station that's expandable and affordable, the Opus 2 uh, battery is perfect for the Mega 2 power station and Mega 3. So depending on your needs, you'd wanna look into both of those and the expandable batteries. And to turn the battery off when it's connected to the Mega 2 through the cable, you need to turn it off at the Mega 2 or Mega 3. So you'll see it says off, turns off the battery as well, just by this one switch. Now to turn it on, you could turn it on with the power switch for the battery and it will turn on the battery and the Mega 2 or Mega 3, depending on which one you got this hooked to from the power button here. You can also turn it off again and we'll turn it on with the Mega 2 or if it was connected to Mega 3, you could use the power button on the power station to turn the battery on or off. So that's how you would turn it on and off. You could turn this on with the button from the battery when it's connected through the cable, but you can't turn it off with this button here when it's connected to the uh, Mega 2 or Mega 3. But if we disconnect the cable, we could turn this off or on with the power button on the battery. So to recap, if you own a Mega 2 or Mega 3, this is a perfect battery to expand those units. If you own a Mega 5, because Opus does make a Mega 2, Mega 3, and a Mega 5 power station, the Mega 5 will require the B5 battery to expand it. But on the expandability of the Mega 2 and the Mega 3 power stations, you can add four of these batteries on the Mega 2 to expand it out to 10,240 watt hours and six of these batteries on the Mega 3 to expand it out to 15,360 watt hours.